Kuzo Zampala. Today, I'm going to do a small presentation on attributes of a good citizen. Kuzo Zampala. I could. If you are a good human being, then the skill and the knowledge you acquire will benefit the whole society. Otherwise, it's like giving a weapon to a child. I am cool. By His Majesty Jimmy Kesson, I'm going to. As we all are aware and clear from the Abercrombie that we have to be a good citizen, if you are a good citizen, then the skill and the knowledge you acquire will benefit the whole society. In case if a skill and knowledge doesn't contribute for the development of the society, then it will lead to the bad example and cause disharmony to the nation. So as we know why we should be a good citizen, let's go to the topic attributes of a good citizen. You may be citizen by birth, naturalization or registration, but it is very important you to be a good citizen. So some of the attributes of a good citizen are stated below. Knows about the government and its procedures. If you are a good citizen, then you should know about the government, rules and how it is being formed. Values and foremost culture and traditions. A good citizen should know about the culture and tradition and value and respect them all. So some of the examples of culture and tradition are wearing go and kira, going to the festival like Teichu and Loka Festival. Protect and help maintain the environment. Good citizens should keep our environment clean and neat, shouldn't cut trees and kill the animals. Shows loyalty to the country and vote honestly. A good citizen should be loyal and honest to the country and vote honestly. Respect the national symbols. If you are a good citizen, then you should be able to identify the national symbols and respect them. So some of the examples of the national symbols are national flag, national animal, national tree, national bird, and national flower. Exercise freedom and life responsibility. If you are a good citizen, then thoughtfully choose your course of action, considering what effect you have on yourself and others, and then follow through as best as you can on those choices. Obeys laws and participates in decision-making process. If you are a good citizen, then you should obey the laws and participate in the decision-making process. Now, I have finished my topic on attributes of a good citizen. So, lastly, I would like to thank some special persons who were involved in making this video. First, Sir Ishidoji, our history teacher, for giving me a such an interesting topic. And second, my family members who helped me in making this video. And hope you all loved my video.